I like my color. Think I'll leave it as it is. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a video on color correction. Let me know in the comment section below what tools you use for color correcting your videos. Let's jump into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's make those colors right. As you can see, I have a clip down in the timeline, and this clip is a very flat profile. It has a very flat color profile, very desaturated, and we need to bring those colors back to life. Now, when using the terms color correction and color grading, some people interchange the two and they feel that they mean the same thing, but I'm kind of like old school, okay? I see them as two separate things, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as I get into the tutorial. So, let's go ahead and make this happen. First thing I wanna do is I wanna select this clip on the timeline. So I have selected it and you can tell because I have the orange box around it. Now I'm gonna go up here to editor. And then I'm going to go to effect. Then I'm gonna to go to color. And I'm going to select image correction CPU. So we'll start off by doing color correction. Color correction is about fixing your exposure and fixing your white balance. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm gonna scroll down here on the left and I have my white balance section here. There is an automatic white balance and you can use that if you want. Um, I'm gonna actually use the white balance section here with this eyedropper. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna move back here to a point where I have my 18% gray card. Now, if you don't have an 18% gray card, I'll put a link down in the description uh, where you can pick one up on Amazon. It is an affiliate link, so if you use it, I'll get a small kickback for you using that. But you don't have to have one. You can use the automatic white balance, or if you have something white in your picture, you can use that. But on one side of this gray card, it's gray. That's for uh, your exposure and you can use a waveform and IRE values to figure out the correct exposure. And that might be a different video some other day. And then the other side of the card is white. And you can use that for your white balance um, for whether it's in camera or whether it's during your corrections. So because I have this white card, I'm going to use this eyedropper. I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm gonna click on the card. And that basically corrects the white balance. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is I want to correct the exposure. So, let's scroll down a little bit here and in the selective brightness, I have the option to do the blacks, the mid-range and the highlights. So I'm going to make corrections on those. I'm going to actually bring my blacks down a little bit. And you can use the sliders or you can type in values. I'm typing in values today. Uh, I'm going to move my highlights up a little bit. And I will bring the mid range up. And so you're seeing it started to have a few changes on here. All right, so I just wanted to show you here. I'm gonna click on this so you can see the source and the timeline. And you can see it's starting to look a little bit different here. Here's what's in the timeline. This is the corrections that I'm making and this is the original clip that's in the source in the library. So you can see the differences that are starting to come out in these images. 
So now that I'm done with the color correction piece of it, I'm going to move to color grading. Color grading is about altering and enhancing the color in your clip. So you can warm things up, you can cool things down, you can make it look like you're, you know, in a mystical world, whatever. It's about really enhancing and changing the color. So I'm going to do that here under the fundamentals section. So I scrolled back up. I was down here under selective brightness. Let's scroll back up here to the fundamental section. So the first thing I'm going to change is the brightness. I'm going to bring that up some. And it may look a little too bright right now, but we'll change that here. We'll bring the temperature down some to make it cooler. And we still don't have, you know, the saturation brought back into the clip. So I'm going to bring some saturation in here. Bring some color back in. And I want to clear this up a little bit. Looks, add some clarity there. And I'm going to bring the haze down. And I like it. It looks really good here. So let's take a look at the two different clips side by side. I'm going to click on that icon here. Now we see here's a before and here's an after. All right. It's brighter. The exposure's fixed. The color has been corrected. We brought more color out in it. Uh, we crushed the blacks. So this is my workflow for color correction using Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. And keep in mind, if you have previous versions of Pinnacle Studio, it also has the image correction CPU under the effects under color. It's still there with the same settings, so you can do it on previous versions of Pinnacle Studio as well. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Greenlight Sim Racing. Greenlight Sim Racing makes sim racing community videos on their YouTube channel. So if you want to check out some sim racing, head on over to their channel, check out a couple of the videos, and if you're feeling what they're dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Greenlight Sim Racing did, make sure you head over to the video description and complete our shout out request form. If you got a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.